Hey YouTube, Jobin here. Have an update for about my Hest folder. Uh, this is a follow a direct follow up to my previous video about it. Uh, just in case you missed that uh, installment, just a real quick recap. After a few days with the knife, it developed very very slight vertical blade play. You can kind of hear it rattle, but this is a tiny amount of play. You, you can barely even see it move if you look closely but it does make that noise. So I posted about that and I got a number of very interesting comments. I had theorized that this was probably due to material wearing off the contact surface on the titanium lock bar just as the knife got used and worn in and smoothed down. And Udoss said that he thought maybe it was the opposite, that it was still rough and it needed to smooth in more. Well, that's that's an interesting idea, but I don't uh, really see how that could be since this is a problem that it didn't have to begin with and then it, it appeared as the knife wore in. And also, there really isn't anything impeding it from going in farther. And I'll, I'll get into that more in a second. And uh, Wolf Brother said that he thought the heat had a similar problem with a cheap liner lock and that it was basically that the lock bar uh, when the knife was was made it wasn't bent over far enough it didn't have enough spring to it to push it far enough in that direction and he fixed it by taking the knife apart and just bending the lock bar more over and that took care of the problem so that's an interesting idea and that's something we're going to look into uh, Neptune Knives commented and said that, uh, in his opinion, this was just sort of par for the course with the style lockback if it wasn't set up the way um, Reeve or Hinderer do theirs. Um, and that it really didn't matter very much unless the lock failed a stress test like a spine whack. And I have, I have to say there's there's something to be said for that. Because at this point... Um, this does not appear to be a safety problem. You know, the Hess Folder 1, all three of them I had, when pressure was put pushing that way, uh, folding, tr attempting to fold the knife when the lock was engaged, you could see the lock bar start to slide out of the way. And in fact, on at least the first one, it would fail completely fairly easily and just slide right on out of there. Uh, that does not appear to be the case with the Hest Folder 2. Though, that probably does bear testing, and we're going to do some spine wax on this thing. Okay, now I mentioned that there isn't really anything impeding the lock bar from going further in. So, we're going to take a look at that, and I'm going to show you exactly what I mean. And why I think, basically, uh, Wolf Brother really nailed the problem description here. Okay, now here's what here's what you're looking at. This is where the lock bar wants to go of its own accord when you just open the knife. This is its its natural position at the moment. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to push on it very gently inward to engage it further. And I'm going to do this extremely gently, then I'm going to let go and I'm going to watch what the lock bar does. So push goes in a tiny fraction you release and it comes back out. That's not something that's um, getting caught on roughness. That's not that's not keeping it from going in further. What's actually happening is it's not touching and so it's going back to its natural position which is not as far as it can get. That way it's just right at this midpoint here at about 75% engagement. And when you push it in more forcefully, then you get a sort of stiction effect of uh, titanium against steel, and it stays there pretty good. And that's when you feel the lock kind of sticky, and you have to pop it off. But like this, and it's not in the position it wants to go in, where it can just wiggle back and forth here and then spring back out a little bit. When you disengage it here, 
you don't even feel anything. You don't feel metal sliding against metal. It's basically not touching the tang at that point. So at this point, I'm inclined to agree with Wolf Brother that this is a lock bar tension, if you will, adjustment issue. And so this is maybe something we can fix just by opening the knife up and bending the knife over the uh, the bar over farther. So that's what we're going to try to do. <laughs> okay, all the fasteners are off, but it doesn't want to come apart. Um, this G10 slab must be really tightly press fit on something. Holy crap. The version 1 was a little sticky to pop off the um, bolts at the back here, but this is ridiculous. Showing up the backspacer a little bit. Wow, I'm really not sure how to do this um, without damaging anything. I'm gonna have to think about this for a minute. Well, that was a bit of an ordeal. It, I couldn't really get it on camera. What I eventually did is, this kind of thing I picked up the other day, it's for swaging metal tubes. I basically stuck it in like this and just gently uh, pushed it in. Of course it gets wider, so it's just slowly pushed the G10 slab up off that stop pin. So that worked. <clears throat> okay, so what do we have here? We've got the G10 slab, of course, a Teflon washer, a smaller Teflon washer on the side that has the lock bar. They do have some kind of grease on them, which I'm going to try not to wipe off all of. Is that stop pin that gave me so much trouble. We have our backspacer. And then there's the, these long uh, female pins here. Little male screws go in there to hold the G10 on. And here's the rotoblock mechanism. You can kind of see how it works now. See that little tab there? You rotate it, it goes behind the lock bar. Cool, huh? There's the pivot pin, which is mysteriously well fixed in place.
Does that look farther over? I think so. Let's do a little more just to be sure. Hopefully it won't snap on me or something. I don't think it will. This is tough stuff. It takes a lot of force to do this. Probably be easier to do if I clamped it in a vise, but I'm not sure exactly how I... Well, I guess I could tap all the pins out. I don't know. It just seems like a pain. Let's just try by hand first, eh? I don't think it's any farther over. And my thumb hurts. <laughs> okay, let's try that. So, got our small washer, blade, big washer. Uh, that stop pin isn't in all the way, over, over all the way. Okay, not bad, not bad. Just putting these in loose, I'm gonna snug them up carefully, you know, going in turns, kind of like on a, uh, kind of like on lug nuts on a car tire. Don't do one all the way, just keep going round and round. Whoops, phone call. Okay, phone call dealt with, and we're back. Didn't miss much, just uh, tightened up the screws a little bit. Huh. Uh, perfectly centered. Huh. Probably my bad. Uh, but let's see what we got. And the rattle is gone. Now, it's actually not completely play-free, um, but for something that was probably mostly an annoyance, I'm going to call this fixed, and, you know, if I'd, um, if, if I'd clamped the piece, the titanium slab in, like, a vise or something, so I wasn't, like, trying to push on it while holding it in my hands, I probably got to build, bent it over another millimeter or two. And that might have helped a little more, but but this is basically fixed. For at least a proof of concept, I think we're good here. I don't know if all the uh, Hest Folder 2.0s they, they, they've done will have this problem. I hope not, but it is good to know that they're, they're at least um, so far there does appear to be a fix out there for this. And so I'm going to keep using this knife. I'm, this made me pretty happy, and I've got high hopes for this again. Okay, spine whack test time. This is the Hest 1.0, the one that has actually the more severe 
lockout problem. And the roto block is disengaged for this, so if the lock bar wants to fly out of the way, it'll be able to. That's actually kind of impressive. And a little weird. <laughs> because sudden uh, sudden shock isn't popping it loose, but um, more gentle pressure and wiggling can sometimes. That That's really interesting. Don't know what to make that. Uh, which means I really don't expect the 2.0 to have any problem whatsoever, because its lockup is better to start with. Well, that was 12. Oh, that's interesting. The rattle's back. Huh. Okay, so, uh, postscript. After doing the spine wax and a little bit of rattle came back, I tore it down again. Uh, bent the bar over some more. It seemed to have gone back a little bit. And so I fixed that back up, uh, carefully reassembled everything, tightened the screws down evenly and thoroughly, and uh, the knife seems okay now. It's the kind of thing where it's not absolutely perfect perfect, but if you open it like ten times, really gently and check really carefully every once in a while you'll catch the hint of that old rattle but it's it's basically fixed it's gone from something that's a small annoyance to um, you know something that almost doesn't happen and you're only gonna notice if you're intentionally looking for it because it's it's perfectly solid at this point so that's where we stand now Testing shall continue.